What I wanted to do was broadcast baseball until I saw hockey for the first time, and that changed my life. Talk about energy and passion and somebody that loves what he does. Uh, I mean, that's Doc, for sure. The one advantage that I have is having played for as long as I did and then coached in Pittsburgh like I did, and now the broadcasting aspect of it is I've worn both hats. The number one requested feature was new commentary. Um, and it's not an easy task for us to make a really big mark. Um, this was the right year um, to get NBC involved and uh, get Doc and Eddie. We've got Ray involved as well to finally have a third commentator down right at ice level for the first time. And it's extremely exciting for us to finally be able to cater to that big request. When you're down on the ice broadcasting, though, you can see things you can't see upstairs. You can see the puck spinning. Um, you can see when it bounces over a player's stick. You can see their frustrations. You can see um, how happy they are when they score. And you can certainly hear a lot of stuff between the benches that you wouldn't normally hear. I'm sure that Ray is going to bring an awful lot of, of expertise from down at ice level that'll be interesting to listen to. Uh, he, like Eddie, is very opinionated, does have observations, is paid to get them out there, and he sure does. And that will not make our game dull, and that's the idea. Wouldn't want to be that defensive player when they look at the video on this one. What a mistake. Ultimately, our goal is to try and capture uh, a real-world broadcast as close as possible. And we're really lucky that when we came in to work with both Doc and Eddie, um, that they were all for that goal as well. Probably most overwhelming has been just being descriptive in so many different ways. And the biggest challenge is doing that without actually seeing it. Most everything is left to our ad-libbing. A few of the things are structured, but not very many. To sit down and just create, uh, that's quite a process. It's been a challenge, it's been a lot of hard work, but to me it's, uh, it's a great honor to have been asked to be a part of this terrific project. To have this kind of an opportunity to share my love for the game with people who enjoy playing it, that's big for me. And so it's just one more thing that I count as an honor. You always imagine perfect plays made by perfect players. And it doesn't always work out that way in real life, but perhaps in this game it will.